system. Well, it's a little bit eggish. And then mm, we can introduce first, closest to the sun, Mercury. Um, I can tell you facts, so here I go. Mm, Mercury has a really, really high temperature, but has a really, really deep temperature, a low temperature, going down to negative negatives. And also, that happens at night, not at daytimes. But daytimes is the time when it's burning hot. At night time, freezing cold. Daytime, steaming hot. Well, next up is Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Even it has a mm, further distance than Mercury because it has more hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and it has more vapor. Next up, Earth, our planet. The only planet that has life and, and water that we discovered. We don't know if there may be more or less, or just Earth. Next up, Mars. Well, Mars has life before, according to scientists. They figured out that Mars, terrain, Mars, terrain Mars, has life before, when humans didn't exist yet. So there's water, there is, I don't know, life. Next up, Jupiter. Jupiter has a red spot that contains a lot of storm, stormy stuff, and yeah. And um, each year it shrinks into two centimeters each year. Next up, Saturn. Saturn has a ring. And the ring doesn't look as 3D, but it is 3D, but it looks 2D, but it looks, but it is 3D. And then mm, it's made out of dust, moon rock, and ice. Mm, really small pieces, but it's visible. That's why you can see Saturn's ring. Next up, Uranus. It has liquid surface, but doesn't look like. And also, it's really cold. Well, it's so far from the sun. Last but not least, the eighth planet, Neptune. Neptune has a really, really windy, stormy weather and climate. And also, it's really cold, but I'm not sure which is colder. Well, some people say Uranus is colder, some people say Neptune is colder. Well, if that's all, well, actually it's not all. Between these, between Jupiter and Mars, there's a, a an asteroid belt, an asteroid belt, which has a planet, a dwarf planet called Ceres. And it looks so small. Well, it's one of the most smallest dwarf planets. Pluto is the biggest. And also, Ceres mm, looks like an asteroid. It doesn't look as much like a planet, but if you look closely, it looks like a sphere, a tiny sphere, which is not included here. But, we can tell that it's there. So I think that's all. That's all I can introduce from this model. So bye.